What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's video we've got some exciting announcements coming out of BZ Miner and ViperNet. And that is a new miner for Nexa, as well as a new pool for Nexa. So, let's take a look at the Discord real quick. Uh, today at about 9.34pm, which for you guys is going to be tomorrow, time of recording is 11.41pm on January 18, 2023. IE Doc says, new in beta, we've got Nexa finally for NVIDIA only. This is a joint effort, by the way, with LOL Miner. And here is the command to install the beta. I will leave that in the description down below. So I went ahead and installed it on all of my rigs except for one. And we're going to take a look at some of the farm real quick. So we've got Alderaan, which consists of all 3070 TIs, all Founder Editions. Take note of the hash rate. We'll go over that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and take a look at the flight sheet and see what it takes to accomplish this. So you're going to, of course, pick Nexa. You're going to pick your wallet, and you're going to select Configure and Miner. Then you're going to select BZ Miner. And then in your Miner Config, you're going to need to put whatever algorithm it doesn't matter at the moment during this beta because you're going to use force algo down here so just pick whatever coin you want here but make sure you include nexa in front of your wallet address then you're going to select the worker name template make sure that you use x as the password and then the pool which is a new pool by vipernet uh, it's actually viper.io in this instance, but if you want PPLNS, it's going to be 15084, and if you want to do solo, it's going to be 15085. Make sure you have this below in the extra arguments, which is going to be Force Algo Nexa, and then of course you want to set your memory clocks. Now, big difference here between Wild Rig is that you had to use NV tools to use this memory lock at 5001 as well as being able to set your core offset with a locked core clock now I do recommend using these when you are just basically starting to overclock these should be pretty safe and should be pretty efficient for any of your 30 series GPUs um, but yeah that's the flight sheet but you do need to install the beta version and in order to do that we're going to jump over to my last rig here that I have not updated. So I've got just a couple of GPUs in here. You want to run the Hive shell. and It'll take just a moment, but once you get to that screen, uh, you're going to install the new version from Hive shell. So here in just a moment. While we're waiting on that, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the hash rate differences that I'm already seeing. So a 3060 Ti using Wild Rig with the exact same overclocks was getting me 31.41 mega hash at 88 watts for an efficiency rating of 0.3569. And as you can see, we're getting 32.75 at 87 watts with an efficiency of 0.3764 or a 5.46% increase. And we'll just go through the list here. So a 3070 I increased 1.74 percent. A 3070 Ti had the biggest gain of 8.53 percent. A 3080 at 5.09, and a 3080 Ti at 6.14 percent increase. I'm still waiting to update this last rig, but then we'll have the entire farm's efficiency in comparison. So let's go back to the rig here. So we're going to go into the hive shell. And before you enter Miner, you want to right click and hit Paste from Browser. And then you're going to paste that install command. You're going to hit OK. And then you're going to select Enter. And it's going to take roughly about a minute and a half to two minutes to install. And then maybe, maybe three minutes total by the time it gets to the end. It's going ahead and start the Miner for you. So I do recommend that you make sure, see it says starting miner here, uh, make sure that you set your power limits appropriately uh, just in case for whatever reason your overclocks don't apply. Let's go ahead and refresh this here. 
looks like it's starting to pick up. We're going to go back to the hive shell, type in miner, hit enter, and now we can see that our overclocks did apply. And here in just a moment, we should start hashing. And with wild rig, it does take a while for it to ramp up in hash rate. It doesn't start out at full hash rate. BZ Miner is slightly different. You're going to see, uh, instead of mega hash, you're going to see kilohash, I think. And it'll take just a moment for it to go to 100%, but it doesn't typically go from, you know, let's say 80% to 85, then 90, then 95, and then 100. It just pretty much goes from about 1% to 100%. So as you can see here, it'll say kilohash for just a little bit. We'll give that time to update, and then we'll go back and update our little spreadsheet here so that you guys can see the total uh, percentage difference between the two and just to look at ViperNet real quick you can see I just installed this and uh, yeah it's looking pretty good so far let me go ahead and refresh this okay we're up to 25.54 mega hash on a 2070 at 88 watts Still waiting on the 3080. And just to make sure that that 3080 looks like the rest of the 3080s, we should see something like 57 mega hash at 160 watts. And once we have this final number, then we can get a total so we were sitting at I think we were at about 995.6 mega hash at about 2973 watts total for what we're mining on Nexa excellent so there we go we're about 57 mega hash at about 160 watts so 920 plus 110 that's going to give us a total of 1031 at 73 watts less so let's go ahead and put those totals in so 930.1 or excuse me 1030.1 at Let's see here. So twenty nine twenty three minus. Oh, this rig isn't going. Okay, cool. So it's just twenty nine seventeen. Go ahead and bring our formula down, and there we go. A grand total of point three five three one as compared to point three three four let's go ahead and bring our percentages down so a total increase of about five and a half percent in comparison to wild rig using the exact same overclock so not bad congratulations to bz miner congratulations to vipernet uh, very happy to see another pool and another miner on nexa finally Anyways, that's all I got for you guys on this video. Hope you enjoy the content. Do me a favor, hit that like and hit the subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.